Well, hey everybody, I lost the last run. That's two soy milk runs in a row. Maybe it's time. Jesus Christ, Northern Lions, been two runs since you won. Can we stop uh, with the freaking losses here? X3, F7, PSK6. Look, I'll, I'll play less ridiculous this time, unless we get the opportunity to play ridiculous. We got a tiny little boomerang in the bottom right corner. That's our tears splashing against the wall. Um, but we actually have breakfast. Could be dinner, it doesn't matter. And uh, Book of Shadows. Yeah, Book of Shadows. Mom's Pearl. Low rate of fire, but maybe it just seems like that way because we had uh, soy milk earlier. It's a decent start. Look, I, like, I'm really glad we got the opportunity to get uh, the HP upgrade. Like, normally I'd rather just start with more HP, but if you're gonna give us the choice between not having a decent amount of HP or having a decent amount of HP but still uh, uh, having to take one of our items that Eden spawns with, it is like coded for by the Eden Seed, I'll take that one. Yeah, we'll take Rubber Cement here. Now all we need to really make it uh, a little bit further here, make it uh, a little bit stronger, is to get a better rate of fire. As of right now, we're kind of lacking in that department. Admittedly, um, you know, Rubber Cement does allow us to prioritize, or not prioritize, repurpose some of our shots a little bit better. But for now, it doesn't matter. Because we're still on the first floor, and we have nothing to concern ourselves with. We also have no bombs, so I can't take advantage of that tinted rock, but I would very much like to before the next floor. Although, you know, we're kind of in a holding pattern here to start. I don't even know if I'm going to use... In fact, I think I'm not. Wow, that was actually an amazing rubber cement hit there. Um, but yeah, I think I'm not going to use uh, our Book of Shadows. First off, because this is proving pretty easy. Secondly, because... Uh, it's better to just make sure we can't take damage on the next floor. We're in a situation where we don't take damage on the next floor, is what I should say. We picked up a Spirit Heart anyway, and then a Lemon Party Pill, so mostly that's just a speed upgrade at this point. Um, I do want to do that, and we can use Book of Shadows once every three rooms, so we can get away with doing it. It's a touch risky, but tell you what, let's do it on the way in. We get nothing of value inside. Just don't get hit on the inside, that's the... The real problem here, and then hope that you fight against a uh, pin on the way uh, or on the boss fight here, and you're good to go. We got a tarot card. It is a teleportation card, so I will take it just to save ourselves the uh, the half spirit heart of damage. Honestly, that worked out fine. I mean, we didn't really gain anything from the room except for minus two thirds of a book of shadows charge. Now that I think about it, but uh, we'll uh, we'll be content with this. At least we didn't lose out on as as much as we could have lost out on. I don't know why I. I had to change my diction there temporarily. It's all good. Now, eventually this guy will die. And when Monstro dies, we'll be given the keys to El Dorado, our first deal with the devil. And uh, if it's Brimstone this time, I'm probably not going to say no. If I could just get uh, you to pass away here, that would be fantastic. Extra HP. Debatable whether or not I should have taken that to begin with, but we're fighting Krampus anyway, so it didn't actually matter whether we took it to begin with or not. At the very least, don't give me freaking uh, Krampus's head here. Like, Lump of Coal is not going to be a game changer for us, but it is good with Rubber Cement, and at least it gives us a benefit um, without causing us to get rid of our space bar item that is already good, or at least decent. I'm not getting rid of Book of Shadows, I'm going to keep that. Oh, you, you freaking jerk! I don't want Krampus's head right now. I'm completely fine with what we've already got going for us. That's an incredibly disappointing turn of events here. I mean, you know, don't cancel Christmas quite yet, but, uh... Would have very much liked to have picked up, like, anything of strategic benefit there. I guess we did get one HP upgrade. But, uh... Certainly not the be-all, end-all we were hoping for there. Probably not gonna get anything of value from our shop. That was a great shot. But um, if we could get a good item from our item room, that'll go a long way towards making me feel better about this situation. You know what? This is a perfect opportunity for our Book of Shadows play as well. Maybe we will be going to our shop, actually, and... All right, you know what? This is a great opportunity for us to burn off our Are You a Wizard pill penalty here. We'll get like, uh, you know, maybe 10 seconds of invincibility out of this. 10 seconds of free cash. Loads of money. We will take this. Um, or maybe we shouldn't. Maybe the Spirit Heart is more valuable. And let's take this opportunity now that we have 17 cents to go back and see what's going on in our shop. Great time to pick up Champion Belt. Great time to pick up the Compass, but it's always a great time to pick up the Compass. Uh, I would actually... We don't need to do this. We could get this money elsewhere, but if we can get to... 
15 cents and get the piggy bank, which it looks like we can, we might as well, uh, and then go back and, and play the... Oh, man, there's a freaking dice room. Then go back and play the... Uh, the blood bank some more, which we will, but I want to get a charge first. Now, unfortunately, we don't have enough key presence here to get inside of that double key room. That can change real quick, though. Range up is uh, acceptable, I guess. Not a very good pill, but, you know, certainly better than something that is bad. It's going to be a three room, so it rerolls all consumables on the ground. Which, as of right now, only consists of that... Uh, is that a key on the ground? No, it's a penny on the ground in there. Which I don't think I can get that one anyway. Um, there's a key back there. So here's how we do this, and this is going to sound ridiculous, but it's going to help. What I'm going to do, I don't know, <laughs> I feel like I'm talking, I've been listening to too much of the hip-hop lately. I'm talking like I'm in auto-tune the news or something like that. Now, um, we're going to open up this golden chest. We're going to see if there's any trash in there that we want. There's, there's, some, there's some usable trash for sure. Um, but I didn't want to re-roll it just in case it had something good, which it did. And then we'll come re-roll this, and it re-rolled a penny into a penny. And that penny got re-rolled into a penny, which is pretty freaking dope if you ask me. Um, we, uh, you know what we could have done, slash should have done, and maybe even would have done, is uh, played the blood bank some more, and then re-rolled everything in here. But it's all good. We've done it. I'll just, I'm gonna take Guppy's head with me, because I think I could use the extra damage more than the invincibility, even though I do like Book of Shadows. I think it's gonna be more valuable for me to, uh, to go for the damage play here. And obviously we're in kind of a tough spot in terms of our HP, but I still think this was well worth it. And we're still doing well on time as well, which is always nice. Do I have anything else from the shop that I might want? I mean, I already got both of the premier items. You know what? I think it's probably a good time for us to buy that. And maybe a three cent mom's purse. Yeah, that seems like an okay deal. But I already uh, re-rolled Child's Heart into a key. So we can't really do anything with that. What about... This is not going to be re-rolled now. That's, that's unfortunate. But still, I'm very happy with the way that went down. We don't have precedent, but we do have a cat piece. So I'm not hesitant to continue here. I'm not hesitant to feel optimistic. There's a library. Is that really our number one place to use a key? I mean, in terms of consumables, yeah. In terms of, like, the actual items we want, probably not, but... I don't know. It's kind of a higher order room for us right now. Why don't we just stay away from that for now? We'll see if we can get, uh... Something of value from our boss room set up here. Really good opportunity for us to get a deal with the devil that actually gives us precedent, or deal with the angel that actually gives us something half-decent. Either one of those would be, uh... Fine by me. Or just a good item from our boss would also be okay. There's a tinted rock. I wonder if I can get you to shoot a, a bomb or just like collapse that rock over there. Does that even work? Why would I stand here? This is just, I'm asking for trouble. I'm just going to throw this bomb down as is. Thank you, Infamy. I appreciate that a great deal. You didn't have to do that. Now we are just toughing this one out. Thank you again, Infamy. We, uh, we really have no recourse with which to finish this fight any faster than we're already going, so... Uh, unfortunately, this, you know, kind of grab a, grab a drink here. Prepare yourself for the, the long game, because we're going to be here for quite some time. I can't even remember if our bomb did any damage. Now I'm hoping not, weirdly enough. Because, you know, that gives us unrealistic expectations of how fast this fight could finish. Hey, we finally took a hit. That's okay. That's like a milestone. We knew it was going to happen at some point. It's also the first creep, I think. He spawned the entire uh, fight so far. Come on with this jabroni pony nonsense. Any day of the week, we could finish this fight and move on with our lives. You know, you got stuff to do. I got stuff to do. You get a shot speed downgrade, but it tears up. I'm fine with this. It does lower our effective range. Which is, uh, not good. Because our shots aren't going to stretch as far. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, they're doing fine. The tiers upgrade is much more important. But I was just, I was highlighting a potential negative of the, the blue cap. Which is an item that I mostly think is pretty okay. So we got up to 15 cents thanks to the, the piggy bank damage that we took. That is already paid for itself, I'm pretty sure. How are we doing on time? Uh, maybe a little bit behind schedule. But... 
not until we actually uh, finish the floor does it become committed, so that's okay. Mom's bra, pretty bad. We will go to our shop because that's the whole purpose of having money. I almost walked on those spikes. Um, and then we'll prioritize the library as kind of like our number three, which is below peeing and pooping. It's some kind of weird bathroom trip that we don't want to talk about. Number three is probably vomiting. If you ask someone if they're going number one or number two and they say number three, you better stay in the hell back. They are some kind of creature from another world. It's either it's either vomiting or taking care of some, uh, you know, feminine or masculine hygiene issue. Either way, better to just not ask in the future. Why are you asking someone what they're doing in the bathroom? Just let them go. They're an adult. You trust them, don't you? Now. We're going to see. Oh, this is perfect, actually. Get a lot of money out of this. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to pick up a blood bag either. And thank you for the extra spirit heart drop there. Feels good. That was actually perfect timing. We did get up to 17 cents anyway. Oh, man. Um, yeah, I'll give you the money. I'd prefer to stay above 5 HP, though, so I can still get an arcade on the next floor. Well, we accomplished one of our goals, I guess. I can live with that. I'd rather not have to remember that, though. Um, was there anything in here that was of value that I wanted? I guess I've already purchased it and forgotten. Uh, we don't really want the other spirit heart. And there was that. I forgot about that. Okay. What did I just pick up there? I bought it, obviously! It was the map, so I have map and compass. Okay. I gotta pay more attention here to what's uh, going on. Uh, we do have one more key. Is it worth using this key on the library? It could be, you know, let's knock some more books out of our rot- Let's knock one more book out of our rotation, if possible. I would probably replace Guppy's head with Book of Belial right now, if we could find a way to just get into that, uh, that key section there. If there was the Bible, we could get all of them, but, uh, how to jump does not work properly for that, I think. There is a key here, so we'll buy this, we'll come back, we'll get Book of Belial, and that'll be that. I think we'll uh, we'll be in a really good position with full mapping, guaranteed deals with the devil, one guppy item. It might be deals with the angel because of uh, because of the uh, fact that we don't have any precedent yet, but definitely deals. What if I carry it in here? Do I get a deal already? That seems unfair. What if I use it once? Does this help me out? Maybe I should have used it on the room, but I, I felt like it wouldn't open it if I didn't. Like, there's no boss to use it on. Like it felt weird. Let's just. Leave it at that. Um, anyway, we, I tried there. It doesn't really matter. I'm assuming you have to have Book of Allow before you beat the boss to, for that to reliably work for you. I'm also amazed we didn't do enough damage there. So we wasted a Book of Belial charge, which is the exact inverse of my usual problem, just not using Book of Belial charges to begin with. So uh, forgive me if I'm not too bent out of shape about the way that uh, we handled that. At least it was worth a shot. And we learned a little something. And that's important. Things are getting very slow now would like to point that out um, no arcade that's good not the lack of an arcade is not good don't get me wrong but uh, the battery charge on the ground is better but yeah we're, we're, uh, we're not gonna really be having our designs on boss rush too heavily I think from the start here we just mostly concerned about picking up enough damage to make this functional and we're pretty close we're not there but we're not that far off uh, we could get there Without too much, uh, without too much hassle, I think. I don't know why, I was like, there's a 100% chance a key is gonna drop from that enemy. Seems like whenever you fight in that room, it always, like, you kill the champion on the other side, and then he drops an item, and you have to walk around for it, and you're like, ah, grumble, 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 I gotta walk. And I was totally ready to do that. But they didn't keep up their end of the bargain. Nothing there, either. Might have a shit luck stat or something like that right now. Much less relevant than our pretty crappy damage right now, though. Okay. So this is where we see if Book of Belial is going to help us. I, I dodged into the path of that and then watched as it slowly traveled towards me. That was not intelligent in the least. But um, I, I don't think our damage is... Or I don't think Book of Belial gives us enough damage to carry us, but it certainly doesn't give us so little that we're scared about the next floor or two. Like, for right now, I feel pretty good. 
You get some pills. I'm not too excited about that, but I'm pretty excited about the brimstone pickup. Locked down. Well, that's that's just nothing, nothing good for us, is it? Um, I'm gonna take lemon party. I actually think that could be pretty valuable, more valuable than anything we've gotten up till now. Let's uh. Well, can't do anything there. I'm just gonna. Oh, I hit Q by accident trying to hit the tab key, which is pretty much my own fault. But and by pretty much, I mean unassailably 100% my own fault. But hopefully, we get a key drop here. Like we can't leave this floor before exploring this stuff. I'm gonna not care about the shop too much and go straight for the item room. Pick up common cold. It's not bad. Could be better. Um, it's all right. Like a Christmas sweater. I'm gonna just go I think there's not much holding me here and there's something propelling me onwards the chance for us to get to boss rush I think this is okay I th well I mean obviously we have brimstone so now I have to get myself in a different mindset which is that we are not in a bad position at all anymore we're in a good position not the best but you know not so bad we also don't have anything to worry about with rubber cement anymore, which is actually unfortunate. I had left a penny back there. Because uh, I really like rubber cement as an item, but we... Come on. You've seen me lose the last two runs in, you know, unique and extravagant fashion every single time. It would probably be nice if I could mix it up and maybe get a win for once. So we're, you know, just pop pheromones to get it out of my mind's eye, and then we'll... Maybe try to get a teleportation card on this floor. Now that we got hot bombs, it's not that good, but I can live. And uh, having some bombs, you know, it's, it's it's always nice when you get those items that give you consumables when you didn't have a chance to have any before. And then the, the extra synergy that you get from it is just, a, you know, an added bonus. An adversary is not too bad. I mean, it really puts it into perspective how much more tanky the adversary is than the dark one, because we just fought the dark one uh, recently, and it... Even without Brimstone, I think it went a little faster than this, but the adversary is one of the tougher enemies. Man, Halo's such a good pickup for us. And the Nail. I'm going to go ahead and say that the Nail is not what we need right now. I think Book of Belial is going to be better for us. I think that's probably pretty obvious, too. I think most people agree with that uh, pretty much implicitly, or if not explicitly, if they've had the decision to make for themselves, which they probably have. Try a bomb here, and a bomb here, and a bomb here. Wow, disappointing. Uh, I'm not sure if that's based on our luck stat, but I definitely would not be surprised to find out it is. We're in a totally fine situation here. The only thing that, you know, chuffs my chopper a little bit here is that we're low on consumables, and I would like to not be. Even low on bombs, despite picking them up recently, but that's because I've used them, not because I haven't had them, so that's a different kind of problem than the one that we're having with keys right now. There we go, get some bombs back. Flat Penny would be awesome if I could swing that, but we can't. What about a secret room? Sadly, no. Hmm. Well, we'll look for some skulls, like some really, really efficient skull patterns, and hopefully we'll be able to crack into a, a teleportation card and maybe get to Boss Rush, and honestly, I mean, if I, if I lose this one, I'm in a genuine slump and I got no soy milk to blame it on at least not yet because we should never say never doesn't always show up in the first item room like it did uh, on the last run there's a key want to use that key to get to the shop you know what I think I'd do I think I'd do we're gonna be right on schedule like a little slow for boss rush but because we have brimstone and the map and the compass I don't think it's going to be a big problem. If we want to get to Boss Rush, we should have the, the tools at our disposal to do so. And plus, we have Book of Belial, which I could actually use for once. That's fine. That damage is not so bad once you realize that we uh, got our key back, but also picked up two Spirit Hearts on the room, so if we get hit once, it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, Alright, yeah, we're going to be about 30 seconds behind my usual suggested time, and that's... Still within the realm of doability for sure. Can't get any of that. Uh, we'll just go, man. We'll just go. I mean, all we got here was common cold, really. Well, and the halo, which I guess is pretty great. I can't deny that. Um, let's let's make our way to the boss room first, because there's a pretty good chance that we could crack some skulls on the way. And if we can crack some skulls, then there's a pretty good chance that we can get what we want. 
If not, we can start doing the, you know, the backtrack shuffle on this floor. This is mostly what I was looking for. We only have one bomb, so we really only get a couple of shots at this at best. Pop the hero font card, then a big room. No skulls on this one. That's a disappointment and a half. I'm thinking we still, like, we've made good time. It's not like we, we've, th there's constructive and destructive ways when it comes to timing that you can spend your time. And I think we've done things constructively here. We still got two minutes, I mean, a little less because we got to actually kill uh, Mom and to get into the room. But uh, we've, we've cleared out a path, let's put it that way. A path that we can make do with in the future. And this room didn't even slow us down very much, so I feel like an idiot for going to it in the first place, but... There are skulls here. Let's try that one. It's not like we were getting four out of any of them, so it doesn't hurt so bad. Um, I think we got about a minute and a half to get into this. We should definitely go pick that up. But I think we got about a minute and a half to get into this mom fight. And we could easily get to the item room in the shop in that amount of time. Wow, oh, Infamy just saved me there. I was not expecting that at all. Celtic Cross was well worth the, the time spent to get up here. And this is re really where it becomes the moment of truth, of course. Take this bomb, just in case there's a sweet skull situation in here. Obviously there is not. Get another key. And we fight Super Greed. He's super greedy. Poison damage is like next to nothing, but... Okay, well, now is really the moment of truth. I think we still try to get into boss rush, just in case there's an item there that's that's just so good that it's unfathomable, right? We got three, and one of them is the Emperor. There's our teleportation card. Wow, if I had just gone for two, and I'd chosen the downside, I wouldn't have actually managed to get that. But because I kind of ballsed up a little bit, it worked out fantastically. I think ballsed up means, like, in... in English parlance or British parlance, it may mean you, you made a mistake, but I'm here I meant like nutted up, which is, uh, you know, to have a little extra courage. Because in English culture, your testicles are associated not with power, but with comedy, with the way it should be. Western culture is a little, it's different. Well, I know that English culture is the West. I just mean even West of Europe. Depending on which way you, you're looking at the map, I go, okay, now I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Um, okay. Polaroid, of course. Probably we can take Gimpy here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Luck stat sucks, but it's a pretty cheap cost for Gimpy. And then inside of here, get uh, Homing Tears. Could have gone with the uh, Shielded Shots, but I decided that I like Homing a lot. So we're going to head down to the next floor. And it leads to cooler synergies for sure. And now we can see where we're going as well. I mean, we can see where we were going before too, but now we can actually see... Uh, or we have, we have an added interest in getting there as fast as possible. Sealing these, uh, or feeling these cool synergies that are not awful. Um, we might as well go back for the key. I mean, we don't have very many. Really would love to become Guppy here. I mean, it's been a little while since we've seen the Guppy dream. Not that we need it. I mean, if I die on this run with, with homing brimstone and decent damage, I uh, would feel pretty bad about that, I guess. Yeah, don't, geez, don't sound so impassioned. I would feel bad about it, but uh, at the same time, I know it is possible. Oh, okay, this is good. Kill this guy. Oh, I really thought we can get into the curse room before we got hit again. Take a quick glance for tinted rocks. I don't see any. Oh, I do see any, but I don't have any bombs. Oh, no. Oh, don't burn my butt. Flip me over, scrape off the grill marks, and then serve me to your family at the barbecue. I can't believe we got another double dice room here. Triple dipple double dice rooms. No soy milk. I don't know what that pill does, and quite frankly, Scarlet. I don't give a darn. Okay. Still doing fine here. What do you got for me? Of course, it's a... Ooh, I almost... Walked on top of it because I wasn't paying attention, and then I was excited that it wasn't a one or a six room, but we should probably not do that until we get to the boss room on this floor. Amnesia. M. Nissa, Vastwood Seer. I'm not really interested in that right now, but at least we know exactly where we're going after the floor ends anyway. Oh, that guy already... Well, thank you, Homing Tears. I didn't even realize. 
I'd still like to get that tinted rock if possible, because I'd like to find a way to justify going to the curse room, maybe getting us our second or hopefully third guppy item if we get one on the deal with the devil here, which we are destined to get. See, even with Book of Belial, this is like not an absurd amount of damage. It was still the right idea to take Brimstone. Like, don't let. There's gonna be people that are going, see, Brimstone sucks. Yo, this is one of those correlation causation errors you should not be uh, falling victim to. Brimstone is still incredible. Oh, so is this, by the way. If we can only take two of these, do we really wanna take Judas's Shadow? Yes, please. But how do we do it? Do we take Dark Bomber, the Pact? We could, if we can only take one, I think we'd go um, probably for Judas' Shadow and Dark Bum. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is how we do it. I'd love to take them all. But we need Dark Bum if we're going to kill ourselves with Judas' Shadow. So that's that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And then we'll kill ourselves going into the Curse Room. And we won't die... We'll, we'll kill ourselves outside of the curse room. We, I just want to make sure we're not going to die on the way in. Or the way out, for that matter. So we can actually uh, feel okay about this. And then we're going to redo this whole room. and uh, This whole floor. And I think I feel pretty good about that. You should pick that up. Might need it later. Right now, I, like, I, I want to become Dark Judas. But I don't know how to freaking get... Uh, I don't know how to get hurt, basically, right now. So there is another curse room. Maybe we'll get a chance to do it there. Hoping we get some more red hard drops. We don't have to become Dark Judas until we get a drop from uh, the Dark Bum. And then we can do it and have a little bit more survivability. And that he's definitely going to drop now, so we might as well get hit. Oh, no, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, now we got damage. At least more damage. Should be feeling pretty solid now. Red chests in here. Hopefully. Might even be another payout already. That's a golden chest. Uh, I, I can't justify going to the curse room with this amount of HP, even with Dark Bum. You know, there's just too much variance, considering how much, uh, time we've got until we at least get to some decent amount of spirit hearts. You got another payout? No, he's got one on the next, uh, red heart payout then. Pick that up. And you dropped another spirit heart as well. Considering how much our HP has improved here and how quickly it's done it, I think I'll go back and get the, uh... The curse room. Even though I said it was a bad idea and I still stand by it, now I don't because it turned out beautifully, I gotta say. Now, do you have uh, perhaps more red hearts? I think I Curse of the Maze kind of Curse of the Maze me out of that one, but it's alright, it's going. More red hearts the merrier. That's Gimpy, man. Gimpy with the extra red heart chance payout. Even with the Luckstad being poor. I think we've now gotten to the point where this is pretty much insurmountable. We'll walk back just to make sure you got a chance for that. Dark Bomb, are you kidding me? Don't expect me to do your whole job for you. Paid out with spiders anyway. Alright, so we will have a, uh, a deal with the devil here. We are going to win regardless. We've done our due diligence to ensure the victory. Torn Photo does not hurt. That's what I was hoping for, was another guppy item. And now, it, it just can't get any better. We are... Well, I mean, it can get better, I guess, technically. A Holy Mantle pickup or something like that. But it's, despite this, we're completely fine. And, like, only going to get better unless this is a freaking dice room. In which case, oh, I don't even... Oh, I'll be mad. I'll be a little mad. Alright. Forget the money. Now it's time to go. I'm not going to take the pills just in case they're bad. There's no point. We're completely fine. And this is exactly what I needed, I think. After having uh, runs where I maybe went a little bit overboard on absurdity and cost myself uh, some victories as a result, it's not like they were high, you know, stakes chances or anything like that. But still, you know, I'd like to get a couple wins back on the board. It's been a whole day. I'd like to remind you I can still play. And I'm going to ignore all of those, because we have no need to get them. And I'm, I'm not even going to let Dark Bum pick up most of this stuff. Like, there's just no point, I feel. I think we got burned on that one. If we had come in through the right door and gone straight to Mom, I'm pretty sure we would have won before. She could have done anything. All right. We're going to head up, and this run is going to be over within, like, five minutes, without a doubt. So let's uh, take that pill, see where we're going. And I don't think we really want to go to the Curse Room. I don't think we really don't want to go to the Curse Room, either. Like, there's no... There's no real punishment for it, but 
Except for the, you know, obvious damage that we would take by going to it, which is just obvious uh, and, you know, bears mentioning. Red Heart, come on, Dark Bomb. Don't make me kick it over to you. It's getting a little ridiculous here. And we're not going to open that one, but we'll start to open them fairly soon. You know, Dark Bomb, you're going to have to be faster than that if you actually want a chance to pick up the food of your life, you know? Without uh, without getting your lifeblood, you will eventually shrivel on the vine and die. I don't know why I sound like a, I'm, you know, profiting the coming of Judgment Day or something like that. Curse of the Blind. That's fine. Give me soy milk now. I can take it. Experimental treatment. Eh. Smart fly? Eh. Little gish? Yeah. Mysterious liquid? Eh. Yeah. That's it. As far as I'm concerned, you know, there's a lot of debate about video game review scores. I say we get rid of scores and replace them with a sound of how you feel about the game. So, you know, like Binding of Isaac Rebirth? Yeah. There's no ambiguity. There's no, there's not, no one in the comments is going to be like, Why'd you get Northern Lion to play the Binding of Isaac Rebirth? He's got a, he's got a bias against these games. Nah, dog. They'd just be like, Yeah, I get it. And, you know, how do I feel about Metal Gear Solid V? Yeah, it's pretty good, you know? I haven't, played, uh, I haven't played enough of it yet, but those are my initial impressions. It seems like a game that's a little too large for me. But that's, you know, obviously something that I'd try to convey with some future sounds. Uh, in order to make sure that everyone's on the same page there. You know, you know, if you're looking for a big game, this one should be high up there. How do I feel about uh, EA UFC? Ugh. Doesn't that just say it all right there? Some expectations, but just you shit the bed a little bit. That was like the fastest run finished for the final four floors that I've had in a long time. It feels good. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.